Hi everyone, my name is Sierra. I'm with Florida Girl Living. Thank you so much for um, coming to my channel today and for those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And also thanks for spending time with me today. I have two Torrid Hauls. I know, <laughs> I gotta slow down. And okay, I'm a talker, so bear with me. Um, I typically, like I can, I can go a few months without getting anything. And then all of a sudden I'll log on to the website and be like, look at all this cute new stuff. I need a few things. I'll get them. And then before you know it, by the way, this is my little, my um, puppy Daisy. She might be in and out. Um, anyways, then all of a sudden I've got Torrid Cash and I'm like, I want to use my Torrid Cash. You know, now it's another season and I could get some a few updated things for my wardrobe. And before you know it, now we've got like mega, mega hauls. Um, and th so there's, this is two different orders. Um, one order, I forget which is which, so I'm going to be surprised. And also I kind of forgot what I ordered. I know one order has like pants in it. The other one, I, I don't remember. And I, yes, I could have gone onto the website to check, but I kind of wanted this to be a surprise with you. So anyways, one of them I had ordered um, like maybe two, three weeks ago. It's been sitting here waiting for me to film. The other one I just got yesterday. So I thought, you know what? Maybe I can do both of these in one video. Or if it gets to be too long, I might split it up into like a part one and part two. And <laughs> I also had a Torrid haul from a month and a half ago or so. And I filmed the initial unpackaging reveal, but I hadn't gotten around to filming the try on portion. And now I'm not sure if those items are still available. So I think what I'll do is on the first one that I filmed that I haven't released yet, I will go in on the website and see if the things are still available. And if they are, I think I'll go ahead and um, do the try on to insert that into the video and then post that. So basically, assuming those things are still available, you're going to get three torrid hauls. Um, the one, the first one for sure will be a separate video. This one may or may not be split into two videos. I'm not sure yet. Um, depends on how much I end up talking, right? <laughs> Hello, my cutie pie. She's, um, a little over a year old and she's adorable and very cute, but she does like to bark a lot at delivery people and gardeners. Hello, my sweetie. Oh yeah. She's so cute. Her name's Daisy. I said that already. She's part wine mariner. Okay. So I'm five foot 10. Um, I am wearing a size two X on the top. Um, I don't know if I'm an 18 or 20, maybe both, or maybe in between, or maybe it depends on, you know, the fabric, the stretch and the cut and all that. Definitely a 16 on the bottom. Um, these are size 16 toward shorts. This is a size two X top from bells, which is a Florida store. So, all right, I've been talking a lot. Let's get into it. I'm just going to pick one and go from there. Scissors. Oh, by the way, <laughs> just a little, not disclaimer, but just some info as to like, what's up with the background. I live in a very small 1960s house, Florida style, which if you're familiar, you, you'll know, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, small rooms. There are not very many locations in my house where I can film because of the small rooms and then they're kind of crowded and you know I'm trying this this area out um, to see how it goes I've tried my bedroom in the past <laughs> she's playing with a shell <laughs> self-entertaining um, and I liked that location in my bedroom but it was almost kind of more like from the waist up which is okay for the the unboxing, but not really okay for like the try on portion, which I'm going to have to do that in a different spot in the house anyways, or outside. Hold please. Okay. My camera may have shifted a little bit because doggy bumped it. <laughs> um, where was I going? The background. So there's a mirror behind me and I covered it with the blanket because I didn't want there to be a reflection of the ring light and the camera set up and all that. So <laughs> We're scrappy here. I'm a brand new channel. I'm learning things as I go and I'm making improvements as I go. So I really appreciate you being here for the, the, the journey as I learn things. Um, I'm doing all this on my own, filming, editing, da, da, da. 
Um, and so this is very like old school and just scrappy, as I said, but you know, sometimes I think that it could be kind of fun. So I hope you like it and all right, let's get into it. All right. This one is heavy. Okay. So this is the second one. I did, this is the one I ordered with Torrid Cash. Okay. And also I'm not a rip the bag open type of person. I don't know why. It's just my personality. I like to open it maybe because in case I need to send anything back, that could be. Okay. This is so cute. I remember this. Um, this is a little like hoodie. And I hope I don't hit my microphone. It's got a hoodie. It's got these really cute stripes. Um, this kind of looks like 80s to me, which I love. Um, it's kind of this open knit airy. I thought this was just super cute. Um, casual kind of beachy would look really cute with um, cutoffs or whatever um, with a tank top underneath or a swimsuit underneath. So yeah, so cute. I love this. Reminds me of one I got a few years ago that was um, more of a poncho. So I'm excited to wear this. I think it's so cute. Okay. Next, I'm just going to grab things. Green. What did I get that's green? <laughs> this one I don't remember. <laughs> this is part of the fun. Um, oh, okay. It's a skirt. That's right. Cause I remember thinking this looked kind of, um, uh, renaissance-y. <laughs> so it's a skirt, um, and it has an elastic smocked waist. And in the front is a tie detail, kind of a lace up or lace down, I guess, detail. And I thought this was so cute and it's a nice lightweight fabric. Um, what is this? Feels rayon-y probably. Do, 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 do. I see it has pockets. Um, viscose and lyocell. Okay. I'm not familiar with those fabrics, but, um, yeah, it's, this is so cute. I think this is, this is going to be adorable. I wear lots of skirts and shorts, um, for like nine months of the year, eight months. And then there are occasions in the winter time when I get to wear jeans. Yay. Not nearly as often as I used to. Cutoffs. I forgot that I ordered cutoffs. Goodness gracious. This is one of those orders that I think was like maybe spur of the moment. It was like the last day of toward cash, like use it, use it or lose it. <laughs> um, the perfect five inch short vintage stretch size 16. They may be exactly the same as these almost. And I liked these so much that I wanted to get another pair. So that's what those are. I love my cutoff shorts. These ones feel thinner than the ones I'm wearing. The ones I'm wearing feel thicker, which I don't remember what like model they are. Um, I've had them a few months, I guess. So anyways, these almost seem, I don't want to say too big, but it seems like they're going to stretch very good. So we'll see how they do. They'll probably be fine. Okay. There is a pair of shoes in here, but I'm trying to wait for last. Um, this I believe is a workout top, but it could also just be like riding your bike or being just out and about being athletic, <laughs> not necessarily like working out per se. Um, okay. So this, yeah, it's one of those ones that has the hole cut out in the back. So cute. This is in a size 2X. Sometimes I I'm feeling like these are getting a little bit big, but I know I'm not like a 14. Heck no. <laughs> this has like a really cute desert scene with like kind of, um, I think that's like a famous landscape. Is it in Utah? Sorry, the camera just got bumped again. Um, it makes me think of that movie. What is it from the 80s? Uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, something like that, um, where 
everybody starts having visions of this um, weird mountain and they're all like being called toward it. And the actor, I can't remember his name, but I know he was in What About Bob? <laughs> and I remember him like carving it with his fork into a chocolate cake. <laughs> that was a weird movie. <laughs> It was like aliens. Um, but I guess they were nice aliens. I don't really remember. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And I was a kid. And I think it was one of those ones where you're, you see it as a kid. And you're kind of like intrigued. But also like you don't con completely catch on to everything that's going on. The government was trying to cover it up. I do remember that. They were trying to keep people away. I don't know if I showed you that there's. it was a cutout in the back. I'll show you when I do the try on. This for sure is a workout top, um, pink kind of heathered. Um, I don't know if I should be bringing these closer to the camera so you can see a little bit better. This is also in a 2X super soft performance jersey and it's got kind of a racer back style. I have two of these already and I love these. They're very comfortable and I like that they go nice and long because I don't like the belly being on full display when I'm in the gym. I always wear um, like bike shorts, so it's tight. And just the way I carry my weight, I'm not comfortable with it just being out. <laughs> so I like to have it be covered with a shirt, even if it does like kind of peek out and stuff, whatever. It just, I think it's probably a mental thing. It makes me feel better. Okay, man, all this stuff that I forgot that I ordered. Um, this is, I believe, a dress. Size 2. Midi super soft tiered dress. I love dresses. Uh, okay, I'm like, where's the opening? Cute. Oh, I didn't realize that it was like plaid. Interesting. So... Here's the straps. They're kind of like, you know, your camis your common camisole type straps with adjustable um, levers, sliders. Um, there are pockets. And this is kind of a common dress for Torrid. I believe I have the same like basic um, pattern, but in like a maxi length. Um, so I'm going to bring this closer so you can see the this floral print has a plaid in it, which is interesting. I could not see that online. Um, I do like it. It's in like pink, aqua, green, kind of a beige background. Um, also, I'm expecting a vendor coming to my house, a contractor. So um, I'm hoping to get this part done before this person arrives. But if I don't, I'll have to come back to this later. So anyways, very cute, very like nice and thin and swishy. And I think this is going to be a really cute dress for the summer. Okay. A t-shirt. I love these t-shirts. This is super soft slub crew neck, double ruffle sleeve tee. Um, I have a lot of these types of shirts. The funny thing is I typically like V-neck shirts over crew neck, but I've learned that if it has a sleeve detail, like this one has kind of puff sleeves or if it has ruffles, then I actually really like it with the crew neck because I think it just kind of like draws your eye away. Um, if it was just a basic crew neck tee, I don't like it. I feel, I don't know, boxy and whatever. So anyways, very cute. This is just kind of a basic that I will wear like year round. I have this in black. Um, I don't know, a bunch of colors. So yeah, size 2X. Did I say the color? Um, Biscay Bay. Biscay, Biscay Bay. I thought it was Biscayne with an N. But anyway, very cute. I like the ruffles. Okay. Also, I like lots of bright colors, as you can tell. All right, this, <laughs> I had this in my cart for like three months. I feel like two months at least. And I kept hem hawing because I was like, it's it's warm in florida i'm not gonna need this i'm not gonna wear it until like next november but um hang on
false alarm. Nobody there. I had to adjust the camera again. Um, okay. So I was like, I'm, this is a sweater. It's going to be hot here in Florida, like any day now. And I'm not going to be able to wear this for quite a while, but I was just so in love with the colors and the pattern and everything about it. And then it was on sale and I was like, I'm just going to get it. Even if it ends up staying in my closet for a few months, that's okay. Um, so anyway, this is the Intarsia or Intarsia pullover off shoulder sweater in Hills multi muted. So pretty. Um, I do think though that the way that this is like knitted, it could be snaggable, very snaggable. <laughs> um, so you'll just have to kind of be careful with like hairbrushes, earrings, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. And knowing me, I, I feel like I'm the type of person that things are always getting caught on doorknobs or on like e-brakes, which my, actually my car doesn't have an e-brake. Um, just, you know, you're walking along and all of a sudden, whoa, I got caught on like cabinet knobs, you know, it's like, oh my goodness. So anyway, it's, and it seems like it always happens on a day when you're just like, I'm having a day. <laughs> my purse fell off the, the front seat in the car or, you know, I got snagged multiple times or just whatever. Anyway, <laughs> see if there's anything else in here. I know there's a pair of shoes. Let's see if we're there yet. Oh, a couple more things. Okay. We're almost there. So yeah, I'm definitely going to, in the interest of time, split this into two different videos. So there will be definitely two videos. And like I said about the first one, if the items are still available, that'll be a third video. Okay, this is a tank top. And I got this because I am into bike riding. It says the Goonies Bike Club Classic Fit Cotton Crew Tank in blue, size 2X. And I love the Goonies. <laughs> The Goonies Bike Club Never Say Die. Um, I thought this would be so cute to wear while I'm riding my bike. Okay, so I just had to take a break for meeting with a contractor. <laughs> so things may have adjusted again. Okay, we have, where was I? Oh, the Goonies t-shirt. Right, so we were talking about how cute this Goonies Bike Club t-shirt is tank top, I should say. Um, I will definitely wear this on some bike rides, but I will also wear it on non-bike ride days. All right, two more things. This is called the Novelty Star Cal Cami, size two. And I got this for a specific event. I hope it fits because I did see in some of the reviews and in the pictures that it looks a little... Um, narrow in the hip area but as you can see i am kind of narrow in the hip area so i think it should work um so it's a kind of a festive fancy sparkly cami it's got some sparkle it's got stars on it um i'm going to be going to a an event um when is it it's coming up and i thought this would look really cute with a black skirt and some sandals I'm thinking I would tuck this into the skirt. So yeah, we will see how that looks. Maybe I'll even kind of do like a rough draft try on for you of how I picture wearing this. And actually that would help me to know if what I'm picturing would actually look good or not. <laughs> um, Cause sometimes when you have things in your head, they, they don't come out the way you envision them. So anyways, this is super cute. It's very like, um, party-ish and it's it, the event I'm going to is a party. So I wanted to look, um, cute, party-ish, fun, sparkly. Yeah. Festive. Perfect. And to go with that, I actually bought a pair of shoes, which I never buy shoes from Torrid because I have sensitive feet. Like my feet hurt a lot. And so I typically buy, um, more expensive shoes that have more, um, support built in. But for these, I was like, I'm only going to, I'm not going to wear them for very long. And I have other things that I would wear these to that also where I wouldn't be on my feet for very long. So I think they'll be okay. 
All right, so this is the last thing in this bag. So this is called the two-piece kitten heel size 10, and the color is called natural. I don't know if I've ever even bought a pair of Torrid shoes, so I hope these fit. They, I don't know. I don't really particularly have a wide foot, um, so we'll see. I have good hopes for them, though. Oh, okay, they're attached. Whoops. Okay. I will say, right out of the bag, they are off-gassing. So, you know, <laughs> they were inexpensive. I, you know, I normally buy, like I said, more shoes that are of a different caliber. <laughs> um, not that there's anything wrong with these, but um, so yeah, they're size 10, two piece kitten heel, heel. So here's the, you know, I don't really need much height since I'm already five foot 10 and they're just very simple, neutral with the one strap across the toes. And then I believe the re reason they're two piece is because you could wear them or two and what is it called? Two and one. Um, let's see. I'll have to cut this piece off in order to show you, or can I rip it? Okay, there we go. Um, you could, this piece here, you can detach. Um, it goes through, a, it slides through a loop. So you could just unbuckle it right here and slide it through the loop to remove it so that it just becomes like a sling back. So you could wear it as like a sling back or you could wear it with this that goes around the ankle. So I think that's really cute. That makes them versatile. Um, so yeah, um, they're very cute. They're just off gassing. <laughs> um, they do seem to have a nice amount of cushion and they have some, a nice, um, sole that seems like it won't slip hopefully, but you never know once you put it on the floor. But to me, it seems like it's got some grip here and, um, it doesn't seem like they will slip. So, and I like that the toe is like somewhat square. It's not like a full on square, but a little bit and looks like it'll fit the shape of my feet with my toes and everything. So yeah, um, I'll see if I can put these on in the try on as well. So that is everything from this bag. And because this is going to be a lot, um, of try on. I'm going to split this into a second video. Thank you for bearing with me through all of the interruptions with the dog and <clears throat> the contractor, <clears throat> excuse me, and my scattered brain. <laughs> so anyways, um, thanks again for joining. And, um, I did just recently have, um, 100 subscribers, which I was really excited for. And, um, you know, I, I love doing this, so I'm hoping that this channel will grow and expand and improve over time. Um, you know, so thanks for being here with me. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.